challenge, we have to understand how to improve our math skills. And we're gonna do that by following these three steps. Step number one, you gotta put in the time. You gotta put in the effort. You got to do the problems. There's not a way to get around this. There's not a quick fix. You have to practice math if you're gonna get better at it. We all know if you're going to improve upon anything, any kind of skill, build any kind of muscle, you have to put in the effort. You have to strengthen that muscle and that's gonna come through doing the work. Now, most importantly than just doing the work is making sure you're doing the work correctly. So when you are doing those practice problems, make sure you have the answers with you. Make sure you either have worked out solutions. One of my favorite tips of all time is to work through a problem, cover up the solution, and as you get stuck or as you work through it, like check your answer. And if you get it wrong, cover it back up and redo the problem. But you have to keep on working through those problems. Make sure you're doing extra problems. Don't just accept whatever has been assigned to you that that is not enough. Everybody needs a different amount of work to be able to achieve mastery in a certain content. So make sure you're putting in the time, the effort, and the work that you need to better understand the material. All right, step number two, you gotta reflect. You gotta understand what it is you're doing, why is it you're doing it, and how does it reflect to everything that you already have learned up to that point. Now, I understand not every teacher is going to demand that of you, so that's something you're gonna have to demand of yourself. Because if you really wanna get better at math and really understand, you have to understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. Really ask those questions. As you're learning something new, you know, that's what you wanna be thinking about. How does this relate to what it is I already know? How does this relate to something that I've already been taught? Try to make those connections because when you make those connections and when you understand the content on a deeper level like that, it's gonna be more easy for you to understand it as well to apply it. Additionally, reflecting just doesn't come into the concept. Reflecting comes into when you make mistakes. Like when you get back a test or a quiz, don't just throw away the test or quiz. Look at it, and especially if it's bad, <laughs> look at it and really understand why did I get this question wrong? What was I doing? Where were my mistakes? Was it a mental mistake? Was it a I have no idea what I'm doing mistake? You have to understand where you went wrong. You have to understand how was your approach? Did you set it up correctly and then you just made a calculation error? Did you have the wrong formulas? Were you using the wrong definitions? The better you understand your own mathematical thinking, the better you're going to be able to improve. But don't compare yourself to other people. You have to look at yourself and say, I can improve upon my thinking. I can improve upon my mistakes. And when you understand your mistakes, that is when you're going to improve. So reflect on your own learning as well as the learning process. Last but not least, step number three, you got to challenge yourself. Again, kind of going back to the doing the problems, you have to put in the work, right? But additionally, like if you're just doing work and it's not stretching you, it's not stretching those capabilities or your thinking, it's not going to make you better. You got to work on problems that are going to make you think outside the box, that are going to challenge those critical thinking skills that you possess. One of the worst things you can do is just do all the easy problems and just cover your bases. If you really want to get good at math, you have to start expanding your horizon. Start thinking deeper about the problem. Start working on those problems that I know you don't want to do, but you know they're going to stretch you. You know they're going to challenge you. Those are the problems that are going to help you become a better math student. So keep on working through those. Look for those problems. Search them out and make sure you understand the approach as well as the solution. But I think when you put in the time and you reflect on your learning, you reflect on your thinking and you challenge yourself, that is going to be the perfect system for you to be able to improve your math skills. Now guys, I have a ton of other examples for you to improve your math skills, but I think for these three steps are the quickest and the easiest ways for you to be able to improve your math grade now.